you'll see is even harder to find. Well, then there must be some magic clue inside these gentle walls. Cause all I see is a tower of dreams, real love bursting out of every scene. <laughs> Yeah, and we're here with another video for you guys. Yes, for our 25 special days of Vlogmas. Yes, we're trying to keep up with the pace because each day goes by so fast. Yeah, it is. It's a little fucked up. But you know, we're gonna get there. Yes. So today, we're just gonna do something relatively simple. We're just gonna tell you guys about us because you know, I feel like you guys don't really know much about us. Yeah. And you know. At least you get a little detail. If we get more people that will view, then we might do it again with more facts. So, yeah, we're just going to say, get you know, throw some facts, facts out facts, there. Yeah. yeah. But before we start, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And turn on that notification so you can get the latest video. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, we realized that when we started this channel, we totally forgot to introduce ourselves in a trailer. Yeah. Which we're still going to be coming soon. We just, we're just going to have to produce it all together. Yeah. So, for the meantime being, we're just going to be throwing some fun facts and probably stuff you probably know already and some stuff you probably don't know. Yeah. So, I will be the first to start. But first, we want to sponsor Tess Arts. Yes. Be sure to buy some of his merch, you know, I, my face mask isn't out here now, but you know, I would like show a preview of it, but y'all pretty much seen that in the last vlog that we did. So, yes, you know, go ahead and go purchase his merch. The link to his um Instagram page will be in the description below. So yes. you guys can go buy it. So it's not just face masks, it's t-shirts, I think hoodies too, wow. and face masks and hats. So, you know, go support our mess, you know? Yes. So, I'd rather do, let's get fun facts on the road. Yes. So, first fun fact about me. Hmm. First fun fact about me is that I'm the only left-hander in my entire family. Now, there's a reason why it's that, because my dad's right-handed. Well, my mom's ambidextrous, but she's mostly right-handed. But she, she can write with both hands, but she's mostly right-handed. Hmm. Um, but other than that, my grandma, my two sisters, um, I haven't seen how my niece, I haven't seen my niece draw anything yet, so there's only time to tell if she's about the right-handed. Um, and everyone on my dad's side of the family, they're all right-handed as far as I can throw it. But yeah, that's the that's the that's the main fun fact I like to tell people because there aren't that many left-handers in the world. I'm about to say, here's another fun fact. This is this isn't mine. I'm about to say. While me and Gary are right-handed, ridiculous and Jules is left-handed. Wow, yeah. So, so it's it's kind of half and half. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So now you get to see how we're all stupid and smart at the same time. <laughs> so that's fun fact number one about me. All right. Okay. I guess I'll give one. Um, fun fact number one about me. <laughs> the damn train. Um, fun fact number one, um, I'm gonna just throw this out there, as you guys see, can see, I know how to cook. Like, and I, I'm, it's not just like craft macaroni and cheese and canned baked beans type cook. Like, I know how to actually throw down in the kitchen. If yes, I like I've seen. <laughs> yeah, and he's been my taste tester for so many lifetimes. Yes. yes. So, you know, I know how to throw down, I'm pretty much the chef. I'm not saying I'm not gonna say the chef of the group because ridiculous she could throw it out in the kitchen too. But you know, I'm I was raised by a family that 
knew how to cook. So I was always in the kitchen being like beauty and shit like that. But like, you know, I'll be a taste tester. I'm hungry. <laughs> so yeah, that's fun facts number one about me. All right, going on to fun facts number two. Um, fun facts about number two is I used to run track and field in high school. Um, not many people have known me to be a sports person. Don't get me wrong, I love to watch sports, and I, but I don't like to play as many sports as I like um, because so much stuff is happening. Um, but yeah, in high school, I used to run track and field. I almost fractured my ankle um, trying to run across, well, not run across, run around the entire track four times. That was no joke. I almost passed out after lap three. As soon as I reached lap four, I'm like, where is the water at? <laughs> <laughs> but um, I ran track for about a year and a half, you know, just to occupy myself with something to do. Because in high school, um, you know, you guys know I used to get picked on a lot and I used to, and I had to take my attention away from all those haters and naysayers. So I just say, and to all those haters out there, Look at us now. Look at us now. We get in paint for things. <laughs> we're broke as shit. But you know, we're here still. But uh, yeah, I covered, I mainly participated in the four, the four by 100 meters. And then they made me do four laps around the entire track. I was so fucking exhausted. But it actually helps me adapt to when I go out on runs. Like I go out on runs late at night, which I probably will go out tonight and run. You say the freaks come out. <laughs> Sweetie, sweetie, come for that booty. Oh my god. <laughs> so, yeah, I used to run. So, yeah, I used to run track. Not many people used to know I used to play in any sports, but as far as they can throw them, I don't use, I don't play in any, but I used to play in some back in my day. So, yeah, that's my fact number two about me. Well, so I guess since we're talking about sports and stuff, I mean, I, I used to play sports back when I was younger too, but that's not the fun fact that I'm throwing out there. But, you know, I used to play sports as well. Like football, street hockey. I hated basketball. Wait, hold up. Did you say football? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. I used to be tackling niggas down for real. Like, damn. damn. Ridiculous. Well, I don't even know she knows this, but I was tackling niggas back in the sixth grade for real. <laughs> damn. Vol I would have never known that. Played volleyball. That was fun too. Mm -hmm. But my, the main thing we played and we always used to love to play was street hockey. Mm -hmm. But. I think I've seen someone playing that game one time during my block when I was back at home. Yeah, but I get all right. So fun facts number two. Um, hmm. I guess I would. I could say something. I'm about my eye color. Sure. So, you know, most mo mostly everybody in my family they got like you know, either somewhat light brown eyes or like regular brown eyes. Mm -hmm. But I, I think, don't, family members, if you watch this, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm like probably one of the only ones that have like dark brown eyes. And you know, having dark brown eyes is like a huge rarity. Like, every, you can have like regular brown eyes and people, they would find like light brown, brown eyes like attractive and shit like that. Yeah. But nah, I got, I have dark brown eyes. Like to the point where I don't know how to wait. I, mean, I can't tell my uh, colors are brown or black. Mm -hmm. I, have to look in, I have to look in the mirror and they're very bright lights. They're, they're brown right now. Yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> right now my eyes are probably like, it, they look regular brown, but some there's some days where they change to like dark brown. So yeah, that's another fun fact. Not saying that my eyes change colors, but they, 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 sh they shift a bit depending on yeah. the mood that I'm in too. Cool. All right, this is fun fact number three. Three. Um, fun fact number three is shoot, what else? Um, I wouldn't consider this to be a fun fact, but it's probably a shocking fact. The shocking fact, shocking fun fact, is that um, I used to be, I was one bad child in middle school, in a good way. I used to get suspended a lot, but it being it mainly be because I be defending myself because I, I I have excellent words I had excellent words at the time so most of the words they didn't understand and they get pissed off 
when they don't understand the word that I'm saying because they can't whether tell I'm giving up a compliment or an insult. And I like that. <laughs> so uh, I so I used to get this a lot for like what they what the what the Detroit Public Schools District calls verbal abuse. Which I really didn't feel like it was verbal abuse if they name calling it you first. Yeah. That's they, not verbal abuse at all. They technically started it. L give it something else like name calling. Difficult difficulties, but we're back. So yeah, we're back. <laughs> My a fourth fact, I think fourth fact. Yeah. Um, I have plants. <laughs> I'm testing out my green thumb, so let's see how it goes. Like I have like four plants. She's not lying either. I have, I'm lying. Five. I have yeah. five plants. Yeah, she's not lying about that. I mm -hmm. have a plant named Ralph. He's growing very well so far. I have a plant named Rosé. It was a rose, but it died. But I'm trying to revive it. Revive. I'm trying to revive it. <laughs> um, I have a plant named Moses. He's a pine tree. So, you know, he's all cute and Christmassy. But once Christmas is over, I can take off like the Christmas decorations and shit on it. So, that's plant. Um, my fourth plant name is Ernest. He's like a tropical, a little tropical plant or whatnot. Uh -huh. And then my last plant name is Aloe. And you can pretty much tell it's an Aloe Vera plant. A, a medical one to be exact. You know, throw my own stuff. Yes, that's not like green, excuse me, green thumb. Yeah, so, so far, none of my plants died. Well, that's not we changed that. My, my old ones did, but none yeah. of my plants <laughs> died <laughs> so far. Are yeah. the ones that I got this time around. So cool. Hopefully, y'all stay alive. Yes. All right. But my fun fact number four is I'm starting to write more scripts. So if you know if you know us from another day at MSU Gaming, you should drop that a follow. That's also in the description. Mm -hmm. um, you would know that we are film majors. We're um, we're not film majors. We're media and information majors with a focus in film. Mm -hmm. if that makes sense. So. You know, with films, you have to create, like, scripts that lines outlines what everybody's doing, at what place, what time, what everybody's saying. You know, basic movie stuff. Bree, like, literally, literally, literally. Yeah. So, um, since quarantine happened, and this 2020 has been a sh hell of a shithole of this year, mm -hmm. um, it's put more, it's allowed me to have more time to focus more on my creative side, because I'm not normally a creative person. So it has allowed me to be a little more creative when it comes to making like short films and writing short stories for class, even though that um, I could use a little bit more work on those. But if you guys want to see some of my work, I will include it in the description. Like I'm working on something right now called 24 Minutes. Um, it's a short film where um, they have to find and diffuse stink bomb in 24 minutes or less. So it's a really good short film. I'm finishing up the edits right now. So. Um, that script will also be in the description as well when it's, when it's made available. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's fun fact number four for myself. And last but not least, we have the final fact, in which we call the final five. Alright, but the final <laughs> fact. Yes, fun fact number five. You want to go or you want me to? You can. Alright, so fact number five about me. Back when I was... Well, I kind of still do from time to time, but I write poetry. Now, before you guys say anything, um, we already know the poet of the group is G Money. Yes. But, you know, there's some, we got hidden talents also in here too. Yeah. But I write poetry from the time to time to, you know, kind of help my inner thoughts come out onto paper. Yeah. You know, what yeah. up why not do it in a creative way. But I write poetry. I did say like a couple of them at an open mic night once on campus, but that was only like what, two times? Yeah. And I love open mic nights, so you probably see me more often. Another fun fact. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, and that's the fifth fun fact about me. Alright, um, my final fun fact. I thought you said oh. one already. So, my final fun fact for today's video. Um, I guess a fun fact about me is. Um, I guess I, I guess being a producer. Well, 
Um, I'm actually involved in a lot on campus. That's no joke. Um, that should have been your last fun fact right there. It should have. Um, I'm involved in a lot of stuff, but the most things that I'm more involved in is um, being in the production like industry. So I'm pretty sure you guys heard of the MSU Telecasters. If you, if not, go follow them on all their platforms. Mm -hmm. Also, in, also in the description. Um, the Telecasters is a group of like six shows, but um, me and sometimes uh, Marlon here, we work on something. We work on the show called The Bomb Bulletin. Mm -hmm. um, Where it is, it's kind of like Saturday Night Live, but like. It's more like news related. I mean, yeah, it's Saturday Night Live. They have like a news section yeah. where they sit there and basically kind of tell jokes on the news about like certain things that's going on in the world. Right. So that's kind of what the Bulma Bulletin is. Yeah, so um, I've just been announced head editor of the Bulma Bulletin. So I'm responsible for all the edits and also making sure that the videos are as creative as possible. Mm -hmm. um, so I have, I have overall jurisdiction on which videos should have more stuff in it. Um, and then I also am senior producer and hopefully to be executive producer um, of Vocal Point News, which is the student produced newscast from students here at Michigan State in our journalism program. A lot, of, lot of news. A lot, lot of news. A lot of news. That's more that's more news focus uh, without the funny stuff. But my bulletin is news with the funny stuff. Yeah, and whereas <laughs> Focal Point is more just act, an actual it's an news act story. Yeah. So um, being senior producer has really taught me a lot. It taught me how to... It's helped me to be more creative as far as new stuff goes, because originally we were, we weren't, before we were media and info majors, and with, with me, journalism, uh, additionally, we were STEM majors, so you can just see going from STEM majors to video majors, it's kind of, it's kind of crazy. Yeah. It's a big jump. Another fun fact. <laughs> we were, when we first came to college, we were STEM majors, but we both switched our majors around the same time, him first, then me next. And yeah. That's another fun fact about the both of us. Yeah, hard to believe we started as, I started out as electrical engineering. And I started in physics. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. Me either. But we changed our major to something that we actually like. Mm -hmm. So we're overall happy with it. Yeah. And with that, those are our fun facts. And hopefully Ridiculous LNG Money, they'll throw some fun facts, throw their fun facts at you so you learn more about them. Yeah. So then you all can know us as a group collective yes so without further ado that has been fun five fun facts about us mm -hmm. if you guys like this video please give it a like and if you like any of our other videos please sure to subscribe and hit that bell for notifications because we're coming out with new stuff every day mm -hmm. and right now we're on day four of our vlogmas so hopefully you know, the next day, you'll see this relatively probably today, but <laughs> <laughs> hopefully the next video will also catch your attention too. So yeah, yes. without further ado, we'll see you guys later. We'll see you guys in our next vlog. Mm -hmm. See ya. All right. Bye. Bye. <laughs> oh, shit. What? Happy oh. what? <laughs> what? What? coming up and we can't wait for y'all to see them. We can't wait. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you like our videos, hit that bell for the notification. And if you want to see more videos from Squad Millie, remember to hit up here to see the rest of them. Yeah, you already know what to do, bro. And also remember... Eat <laughs> 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 more bread! That's it's pearl that's, cake! That's, that's not bread! But do not forget to follow us on IG. Oh yeah, and Twitter because we do got a Twitter and TikTok. And TikTok. <laughs> coming with the squad. And hopefully sooner or later we will come with a Snapchat. Oh, for so, oh yeah. yeah. So you know, be sure to follow it at Squamilia. Well, some of them I think is Squamilia one. And uh, all the links will be in the description below. Yes. <laughs> so with all due respect, from the bottom of our hearts, yes. we would like to wish you. And now we. Squamilia Mets Face!